Hey there viewers and welcome back to the Self Main Auto Channel. So we got us an O2 Explorer Sport Track here. So you got a case of the crusties in our rear end. And by that I mean the shackles. Uh, these things are toast and it's a pretty common problem on these. Uh, so we got us some new ones from China, made out of Chinesium. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and replace them. Sometimes this goes easy. And sometimes it's a real circus. So we'll see how these go. Hopefully we just take the nuts off and the bolts slide out. And all is well, but that's not typically the case. So here's what they look like. They start getting a little crusty, a little nasty. Eventually they rust all the way across and then, then they snap. So um, what it is about playing, the plan is we just zip the nuts off and take the bolts out, but more often than not, they'll be seized in the spring bushing, they'll be seized up in the frame bushing, and it turns into a good video. These are required. Um, let's see, I don't know. Yeah, we should probably get up in here with the big dog. Let's see if we can't get, uh, get these nuts off. <laughs> uh, that's all fire with us. any luck it'll actually spin the whole bowl every tool's got a hammer set let's see it spin that to wing I did not I did not see the whole bowl spin that means it's gonna be fun there's one This thing just about broken half on this side. Did that one spin? No, sir. All right. Awesome. Well, time to fire up the torch. So before we get all silly with the torch, um, what we'll probably do is see if we can get Big Nasty up in there. We'll give them a little two, see if they move. It'll be awesome if they do. A lot of times when you crack them loose, you know, they'll They'll spin a little, but in this case they didn't, and I just didn't expect that they would. But we'll see if we can't get up here. And we don't want to smash the threads yet because we might need to use that to our advantage. We'll see if we can't uh, wail on this a little. Do we? We still got a 21 millimeter socket that we already destroyed with the air hammer. Uh, yes, we do. Yeah, grab that. We'll stick our sacrificial socket on there. Let's see if this will fit. Oh, crap. This kid doesn't fit, gosh. I don't think. Oh man, we're super close to fitting. Oh, that sucks. It doesn't fit. Well, we'll try it on the bottom one. Might have to cut a hole in this fender. Oh, look at that. Dude, it actually moved. Unbelievable. Big nasty, she don't play. So that one moved. What are the odds of this one moving? Um, what we can do, because we can't get big nasty in in this direction, we'll take the torch, we'll blow the head off it on this side. We'll come at it with a pointed bit, see if we can't get it to move the other way. Because if it doesn't move, we have to cut that side off it anyhow. And if one of these are seized up, I'll show you my trick. You want to throw your tripod right under the middle there, Josh? So Josh is going to throw a stand under the middle of the differential. We're going to cut this loose and the spring's going to come down semi-aggressively, I imagine. That work. As long as we know it ain't going to leave town on us. not come down semi-aggressively, it went up. Not sure we had enough tension on it. Let her off a little. All right, there we go. Well, you see how bad that one was. That sucker's ready to break. 
Didn't have much left. Uh, of course, it's here for inspection, and that's why this is one of the failure items here. Before we uh, torch that, Josh is going to grab the snap-on air hammer. A weak sauce, we call it. We're going to see if it's any shorter than, than this one. Overall length. Actually, big, big nasty shorter and stronger. So that will not work. I don't know, maybe if we hit it without, we're going to hit it without a socket just to see what happens. fit it anymore. Big Nasty does not mess around when you start hitting stuff you shouldn't. now that we've got it moving and uh, drive it through the other direction. Sweet glasses back on. Now, she got to hit her through. Oh, she goes. Oh, you son of a monkey. Oh, man. Ow, wow, wow, I'm on fire. Ooh. Let's see what I did. Grab a hammer, Josh. Well, I need Megan. Comes. Only that. I'm going to use a piece of an old shock. <laughs> I don't know if that's a proved method or not. That's what we're doing. Look at the chest. 
job is dangerous. Well, this side is pretty well gravy. So at this point, if you're going to change your bushings, it's the time to do them. Uh, but they can be an absolute train wreck to change. Uh, especially when you start getting a ton of corrosion inside the spring eyelet, uh, inside the frame. You know, I mean these, you can make a mountain out of a molehill, I guess is what I'm getting at. So if you can live with them, live with them. Um, yeah, that's, that's all dried up. Go grab some off my side. Uh, so we're going to grab some Never Sneeze, get our new bolts uh, put in. Obviously we're going to put the shackle on first. Uh, what it, my intention was is to show you guys how to get the bolts out if they're seized up. And I don't know if they're going to happen on the other side. We'll try the other side real quick. Um, got a few little tricks that I know to get them out. You got never seized all over your hand, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> Josh is such a rookie. He doesn't know how dangerous this stuff is yet. Hey, Josh. It's all right. I'll be all over your face in about 15 minutes. <laughs> yep. And I won't tell you. <laughs> End up on the steering wheel, too. I'm oh, yeah. Time. So get that bolt in there. Slide through nice and easy. We'll slobber up our next one. Get out of the rust belt. This probably is nothing that you'll ever perform on your own truck. But here it's pretty common. You have to pull that shackle back a little bit, Josh. In the little, little trimmering. There we go. I just spin my stick nuts on there. Uh, we're going to leave them loose till we get the other side done. That way we can set the truck down and then we'll tighten them up with a load on them. And we'll see if this side turns into more of a disaster. Pretty much the same thing. Where's that crappy socket? Yeah. Whole job's gonna go easy, Jeff. If we didn't have the camera, we'd be over here throwing stuff. Yep. <laughs> Do these if you not come out. <laughs> There's that one. We'll just go for the top one. Um, show you guys the trick if it doesn't uh, everybody wants to see the trick Josh gotta give the people what they want that's what I always say All right. that's gonna be too tall right because this side's probably the same. Mm. well I got two tricks we won't be able to show them one trick so we may destroy this folks just from experience you know 4980 is bad news
out again. Pinch my little finger, I can feel it. Disappointed that this came apart so easy. So I will explain my process in case we don't get another spring shackle job for a while. I haven't done one in a while. Alright, throw the nuts on there, Josh. Ah, get through my sneezing fit here. A little dusty. Uh, I got one coming. Anyhow, what I was hoping to show is if these bolts are seized, so I have two methods, I take them out. Uh, one method, man, I gotta sneeze, is I will actually use uh, the, the bolt and you know the nut to pull it through the bushing. So I'll, uh, I'll take a torch, I'll blow the head off this side, and then we spin the nut off, and we'll stack up you know, some washers under here and start tightening it down and you know, start pulling it through and then it'll it'll prevent the bushing from you know getting completely destroyed because you keep this metal plate here and it'll actually it'll just jack essentially just it'll just jack the bolt you know right through until you run out of thread but then you just keep adding spacers you know if you got you know some old nuts laying around or just you know pieces of shim stock anything you sit in there and then you know tighten it up let it pull through you know take that off add some more and just keep doing that but typically when you get the bolt to crack loose inside the bushing then you can just drive it out it's usually just getting it to crack loose is the first part uh, the other thing I'll do if the if the threads are completely destroyed, uh, just you know, take a torch, I'll cut it. I'll take a torch, I'll cut off this side, and then we'll use the ball joint press. And then I'll I'll start out with like a um, you know like what size are these bolts here? These are probably just just about half inch. So we'll grab like a, a seven sixteenths like by one bolt. I'll stick the bolt up here. I'll have the ball joint press over it, and I'll just tighten up the ball joint press and start pushing it through. And then leave the piece of the shackle here to act as as kind of a backer. And then just progressively work up in different lengths of bolt until you you know push it out the other side. So not a huge big trade secret, but uh, that's just how we usually do them uh, when they come in and they're you know just completely seized. So we've got the truck set back on the ground as you can tell by the angle of the shackle. We got our torque wrench up in here. Back, at least till we hear it click. There we go. And there we have our finished product. Just gotta put the spare tire back in, and we're done. So there you have it, folks. You rusted out spring shackle on your Ford Explorer Sport Track. And I think this goes right across the boards for the Explorers, um, Rangers perhaps. These are really similar to the ones they use on uh, the S10 Blazers and all them. But the old salt and crusties get to it, but not too bad on this one. This lasted quite a few years. 
I assume they're original. What's up, Mrs. O? Nothing. You want to talk to us? No. No? Josh does. Josh is his first time on video. Oh. A superstar. <laughs> superstar. <laughs> I tried to get him to do some funny stuff, but he didn't. <laughs> Anyhow. You're the clown around here. I'm the clown? Uh-huh. Sometimes. Um, Anyhow, that's it for our video. Uh, that's all we can show you. I wish it was uh, catastrophic, but it wasn't. Uh, these were pretty gravy, pretty textbook. Uh, it's probably the same way they do them down in Florida, I imagine. Take the bolt off, take the nut off, take the bolt out. That's pretty much all we did. Uh, however, I must say, and I was telling Josh, these used to always be really difficult. I call it, uh, what do we call it? Uh, BN, or BBN, so before Big Nasty. Uh, when we used to use just like the snap on air hammer and stuff because honestly it wouldn't touch these I'll be honest with you big nasty is one mean mother and uh, Kind of shortcuts a lot of our processes here with stuff like this as you guys see all the crap falling But anyhow questions comments concerns put them in the comment box below while you're down there click the subscribe button and the notification bell uh, So you can be updated when we roll our videos each and every week and just remember viewers if I can do it You can do it. Thanks for watching